That green and white scale buildup you see on your faucets also accumulates in your tankless water heater, reducing efficiency and can even cause breakdowns. To prevent that buildup, a yearly flush is recommended to keep your unit running smoothly. Flushing is the process of running a cleaning solution through your tankless water heater to remove scale buildup. While having a plumber service your unit is always a great option, stay tuned as we give you the steps needed to flush your own tankless water heater. At Monkey Ranch, we spent over 15 years servicing countless tankless water heaters and we've seen how scale buildup can negatively affect them. So we created this video where you will learn the basics of tankless water heater maintenance, what tools you need to flush your tankless water heater, and the four steps to correctly flush your tankless water heater. Hey, if you're new to this channel, we post about all things plumbing, heating, and air. So consider subscribing as we're always adding fresh content. Now, let's get into it. Tankless maintenance processes can be broken down into two main types. Internal, which includes cleaning parts of your tankless that touch water, and external, which cleans things in your unit like fans and filters. Flushing is an internal maintenance process that you or a plumber can do. On the other hand, external maintenance should be done by a plumber since that process of servicing the parts is more intricate. You'll need a few things to flush your tankless water heater, but before you get anything, make sure your water heater has isolation valves. Isolation valves are a pair of red and blue valves on your tankless unit used for maintenance. If you don't have isolation valves, you won't be able to flush your tankless water heater easily. We will have a separate video on how to flush your tankless water heater without iso valves, so be sure to check back with us if that's the case for you. The items you will need to perform a flush are channel locks to help open any stubborn screwed in parts, one gallon of food grade white vinegar, this will be your cleaning agent, two hoses to connect your isolation valves to the water pump, washing machine hoses work well for this, a bucket large enough to hold the vinegar, and a submersible water pump that will push the vinegar through your tankless water heater. Make sure you get a low horsepower pump like a 1 5th or 1 6th horsepower. Anything higher than that will run the risk of pushing the white vinegar through your tankless too fast to clean it. Rubber gloves are also recommended to protect yourself from hot water and the vinegar scent. Tankless flushing can be grouped into four main steps. The four steps are turning off, draining, flushing, and the finishing step. Some steps for tankless water heater models can differ between brands. Double check your user manual before you flush your unit. Also, if your tankless heater hasn't been maintained in some time, you may risk damaging it with flushing. With that said, let's jump into the first stage, the turning off step. Step one, to start the flushing process, you must turn off a few valves, the gas line. This line gets turned off so that the flame in the burner goes out. The cold water line at the isolation valve. Turn this valve off to stop water from coming into your water heater. The hot water line at the isolation valve. Turn this valve off so the cleaning solution stays in your water heater and doesn't come out through your fixtures. To turn off the valves, switch the knobs so that they're running perpendicular to the pipes. Now that you have turned off these lines, the next step is to drain your tankless water heater. To begin draining, you must first take the drain caps off the isolation maintenance valves. These caps are located on both the hot and cold water lines and cover the maintenance drains. First, we will drain the cold water line. Position your bucket underneath the cold water drain. Locate the small blue valve on the maintenance drain and turn it to the open position. This will drain the small amount of water that was left in the pipes. Next, we will drain the hot water line. If you recently used your tankless water heater, be careful the water will be hot, so use gloves to protect your hands. Reposition your bucket under the hot water drain. Turn the small red maintenance drain valve to the open position. This will drain out all the hot water that was left in your tankless water heater. With your valves off and the tankless unit drain, we can now begin the cleaning process by flushing it. Begin by cleaning the pre-filter. Find the pre-filter on the bottom of your tankless unit and unscrew it. Look at it to see if there's any scale buildup. If there is buildup, clean it off and screw it back into place. Attach the hoses. Attach the hoses to the cold and hot water drains. Make sure to screw the hoses in tightly or vinegar will spray out of it. Place the hoses attached to the hot water drain into the bucket. Connect the sump pump. Connect the cold water hose to the sump pump and place it in the bucket. Fill the bucket. Pour all of the vinegar into the bucket so the sump pump is submerged. Turn on the sump pump. Plug in your sump pump and let it run for an hour. 
The vinegar will get pulled into your cold water drain by the sump pump and travel into your tankless water heater. From there, it will travel through the unit out of the hot water drain and back into the bucket. After the full hour, you are ready to begin the finishing step. The final step is to turn off the ISO valves. Unscrew the hoses and remove them from the bucket. Screw the drain caps back on. Turn water lines and gas back on. Return the valves to their previous positions. Dump the contents of the bucket into rocks or gravel on your property. Although a drain near the street is ideal, following these dumping methods will prevent adverse effects like staining your concrete or damaging your plants or lawn. Next, go inside and turn the hot water on for a fixture like a tub. Let's let the water run for about 5 minutes to completely flush the vinegar out of your tankless. So now you know the basics of tankless water heater maintenance and what steps you need to take to flush your own tankless. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. We are always adding fresh content every week.